My name's Theo Wright. I'm a weaver from Earlsdon, and uh, the pieces I've got on show here are from a project called No Colour, No Contrast, um, which I did last year uh, with funding from Arts Council England. These pieces have been displayed both in London and in Coventry as part of a bigger exhibition. There are a couple more of the larger pieces and there's also a whole series of samples and experimentation that led up to those final pieces as well. The idea behind the No Colour No Contrast project uh, was that I was trying to use Weave to uh, give a sort of similar effect to what you might get in screen printing to get sort of multiple layers of, of images through use of colour and contrast. So in the weave itself, each piece uses four colours. So it uses black and white in the warp and two colours, two contrasting colours in the weft. And it's through varying how the degree of contrast and how those colours relate to each other that, that, that starts to bring out those images and brings out the separation between the, the layers. They're not actually separate, but, but it gives that sort of effect. There was quite a long process to start with of designing the pieces on the computer. I took a series of fairly standard curves and straight lines that I put into my weave design and just used lots of different variations. I think I ended up with about 70 or so uh, different versions uh, of the designs just in a simple colour combination. And then I selected uh, 16 of those which I thought were working reasonably well and then started sampling on the loom. That process also involved trying out different versions of the colours. I don't dye my own yarn, so I was using bought-in yarns and trying to work out which of those colour combinations work best to bring out that sort of layered effect. I think what I like about this is part of it, which I didn't know at the time, but is, is being in the same show space as other artists. And uh, I've come across at least two of the people I've shown with before, which is nice. And also, because it's a very public space, lots of people who wouldn't necessarily go to a gallery to see the work will just come across it by accident uh, while they're waiting for a bus.